Hello, fellow miners, and welcome to another episode from Spice Mines Gaming. Uh, this series is coming to a point where I'm just kind of trying to figure out where to go from here. So, what I thought about doing is the achievements in the game. That's definitely something to, you know, it gives us a goal, it gives us something to try to accomplish in an episode. And so, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the achievements screen here. Uh, I have a few of them left. And they're going to be, some of them are going to be very difficult. Some of them are going to be pretty simple. Like, I'm going to try to cover two of them today. I'm going to do the hired help right here, where we summon an iron golem to help defend a village. And then I'm also going to try to do the beaconator right here to bring a beacon to full power. I've got a beacon partially powered right now. And I'm pretty sure I have enough um, iron blocks to go ahead and complete that, if not a combination of gold and iron. And once I get the achievement, I can collect them back, whatever. It's not going to matter. I'm, I mean, I don't really use that beacon for anything but to jump over the fence over there by the chickens. So it's not that big a deal. But uh, a couple of other uh, achievements, a lot of these tend to seem like they overlap quite a bit. Like, for instance, uh, Monsters Hunted. Uh, kill one of every hostile monster. Now, uh, there are only four left. As you can see, I've got 20 of 24. And I know what those four are. It's the Illager, the Vindicator, the Vex, and the Endermite. Those are the four, I'm almost certain, the four that I have not killed yet. And in order to go f complete that, to get three of those four, I need to go to a um, uh, a woodland mansion. Now, here's another thing. You got to get I gotta get one of these, this post-mortal achievement, which is to use a totem of undying to cheat death. Vindicators carry these things. So if I kill the Vindicator, then that accomplishes one of these. So there's a couple of them that overlap here. And then um, this uh, adventuring time, that's going to be tricky, but I have a feeling I know a couple of biomes that I may not have uh, explored yet, and I know where some are. And so I might try to do that. We'll just have to experiment a little bit just to see if we can get so get that number to change. And then Sniper Duel. I think in the next episode I'm going to try to accomplish this one. It's pretty easy. It just takes a little bit of setup and a little bit of skill. Um, but I think I can take care of this in an episode. And then this here, I need to find a trident. That's one thing I have not been able to locate is a trident. So I'm going to have to find some ruins and get a bunch of uh, drown coming at me and hopefully one of them will have a trident. Hopefully I can kill him and then hopefully he'll drop the trident. A lot of hopefully's there. But then I'll have to throw a trident at something and then strike a villager with lightning. I think if you are in a lightning storm and you have channeling on a trident. You can make this happen a little quicker. It's just a matter of getting to a biome where you can have a lightning storm. That can be tricky because I'm in a savanna and I'm surrounded by desert and you don't get lightning storms in those. So that's gonna be a tough one, but I'll try it. I certainly will. And then this one over here, um, I'm going to have to spawn another ender dragon because I completely forgot to collect the dragon's breath in a bottle. Unfortunately. But, you know, there's another there's another achievement here to bring a ghast in the overworld and then kill it. If I can do that, grab a ghast here, that's one more ghast here to respawn the dragon and then get dragon's breath. And here's another one that overlaps. I've got to be able to levitate up 50 blocks from the attacks of a shulker. That's going to require me to find another end city, and I do not look forward to that in one bit. So I'm going to have to get the dragon one more time. So again, here's some overlap. Maybe I can take care of some of this. I don't know. We'll see. And then a furious cocktail. There's a Basically, you uh, brew all the potions, drink them all, and then you get every potion effect applied at the same time. Uh, I should have everything to take care of this. So this may be like a third episode kind of thing. And then subspace bubble, this again is not difficult. It requires a tiny bit of math and then a little bit of setup. And that is to travel seven kilometers in the overworld or 7,000 blocks in the overworld by using the nether. Not difficult, just takes a little time. And over here, these are some tricky ones like uh, breed all the animals. Now I've got two already, and that's chickens and cows. 
and I cannot think of all 11. I can think of only 10. So there's there's an animal I'm missing that we can breed, and I just can't think of it. So um, that'll require a little bit of uh, research on my part, but again, that should not be difficult. I have several of the animals nearby, and I know a couple of other biomes to get the rest. Uh, a balanced diet, I just need to eat a bunch of stuff and then start taking that number down. But again, not a difficult one. I just have to go scour for some food and some resources. There's going to be a lot of raw meat, uh, rotten flesh to consume, and um, probably cake. Yeah, I need to make a cake and you know just various things like that. And then completely use up a diamond hoe and reevaluate your life choices. That just is going to take a lot of time. Uh, I just need to find a large patch of grass that's not near water, and that shouldn't be a difficult thing to do. And then finally, and this one I might try to accomplish at the same time with the uh, sniper duel, and that zombie doctor, cure a zombie villager. And this is an easy one. I am very experienced with this one with the P PlayStation 3, because... Um, in the PlayStation 3 edition, this is the only way you can get more villagers in a village. And so I've done this a lot. I've recreate I rebuilt a village in a world and I this is how I got villagers back in. So this one and I think uh the sniper duel I'll try to take care of in another one. Now, I in order to get this one with the um totem of undying I'm going to have to find a woodland mansion, and I don't know where one is, so that also means I'm going to have to find a cartographer that could sell a woodland mansion map. So that's going to require some digging around. There's, there's a few villages nearby that I think I can handle all that. So there's a game plan, and so that's probably not the most exciting thing there to watch me you know, explain these things that you probably already know about, but I'm, I'm just kind of laying out a road here of... of where, where the series is going at this moment. Um, so, now I need to go get a pumpkin, check, some iron blocks. Now, I believe I have all of my iron blocks in a shulker box. So let me grab a pumpkin here, and I'm going to have to carve them. Used to, you didn't have to carve the pumpkins, but now you do. But it's easy. It's not that hard. You just get a pumpkin, don't throw it on the ground, place it and do just like that and you get some seeds out of it so it's not too bad there we go now let's go ahead and put the um, put the shears back all right now let's put these pumpkin seeds and I do believe I have my seeds stored somewhere was that them no those are beetroot seeds where did I put my pumpkin seeds they're probably in a shulker box. But okay, let's go check out all my shulker boxes to see if I can find the uh, iron blocks. Okay. Now, um, iron blocks are probably going to be right here. Yes. I need four. And one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm going to have enough golden, I should have more than enough golden iron blocks to be able to do the beacon thing. So yeah, that should be taken care of. That right there can take care of the iron golem. I'm just going to set these to the side. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll do that off camera. Let's just get moving on here. And I'm going to use my rockets because I'm going to fly to the south. And you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my computer system to the test. Now, if you haven't seen my Uncut Survival series, I revealed a little bit of news that I think I finally am going to pull the trigger on another laptop and get some better hardware, and for various reasons, not not just for this, but, uh, not just for recording Minecraft, but uh, largely, yes. I, but I'm, I do other things like music production and whatnot, and I really need a lot of processor power for that too. And this processor does most of what I do adequately, but I would like to be able to do things like fully and efficiently. And so I'm getting a new laptop, I'm getting a better processor, I'm doubling the amount of memory, I'm getting a dedicated video card. And so I think everything's just all around going to be a better experience. I can expand my render distance... I, uh, and things are just going to be a little bit smoother here. So I'm going to go ahead and take off with my elytra. And if everything seems good, then we'll just 
I'll take you along for the ride. It's a very short flight to the south here. Let me make verify I'm facing south. Yes. So let's just get going. And if things get a little shaky, well, I'll just cut right to the village. But yeah, it seems like it's doing okay so far. Uh, I have made a few adjustments, and I found out that the software OBS is what was causing the great majority of my problems with video recording. recording. And so I'm not using OBS right now. I'm using Simple Screen Recorder. It was my first video recording um, software I used. I switched to OBS simply because it was uh, better suited for like multiplayer stuff like the SMP series that I have. I could um, record my voice and my in-game audio and also other players talking at the same time. And I keep throwing pumpkins here. And everybody else wouldn't have to listen to me breaking blocks while I'm while we're chatting and whatnot. So OBS is really good at handling that. It's just not really friendly with my hardware. So here we are in the village. We're gonna summon an iron golem. You just place blocks in this configuration. You can lay it down so it's like uh, one, two, three, four, and then put the pumpkin over here. I just like to do it like this. And you have to make sure that the blocks underneath the arms, there's nothing in there but just a block of air and nothing directly above it. And then you just jump up, place that, and there you go. And see, there we go. Hired help. There is that achievement made. So let's go ahead and go back to the house and let's do the Beaconator. And that's going to wrap up this episode. It'll be a, a relatively short episode. I think the majority of it was spent talking about the achievements, but uh, we'll uh, just kind of go back to the house, get this done, and then I'll get started on the next uh, achievement video. And so that'll then I'll just get this stuff rolling here. Sorry, my my brain just kind of went blank there for a moment. Okay, let's uh, jump from here. Okay, come on. I believe I can fly, but I just can't get off the ground. There we go. A little bit of timing involved with getting uh, getting up in the air. House is this way. It's amazing how much better this this performs by switching from OBS to Simple Screen Recorder. I just wish Simple Screen Recorder better handled multiple audio channels. That's kind of where the the underlying issue is. But here we go. Mm -hmm. Now, let's put that back and let me dig out my oars. I might have to hit the crafting bench here. And there's 64. So for the next, uh, the next level of the beacon, I'm going to need. See, it's a three by three, a five by five, and a seven by seven. I'm gonna need 49 for the next one. So you know what? I'm going to avoid this for right now. I don't know what I'm going to use these blocks of gold for, so let's just do this. Let's go to 49 blocks of gold. This will make it go by much faster. And then I need 81 additional blocks. So 64, I need 10. That makes 74 plus 7. Is that right? Yes. So 17 more? We'll see. <laughs> My brain is not in math mode right now. Okay, I need some more tea. All right, let's get to the block of iron. I'll just go ahead and make all of this a block of iron. It's okay. There's 12. Not quite enough yet. And it's getting dark, so I might have to run in and sleep. And let's get another one. This should be plenty here. Let's go with that. There's 19. That should be more than enough. That's 83. Yeah, we're good. And I'll have a few left over. Perfect. All right. So there's level three and level four of the of the of the beacon. Let me go ahead and put this up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sleep really quick, and then we'll head down into the beacon room. Okay.
Now the beacon is below the pond, but I still have my little unfinished hole down here that we can easily get to. Right here between these torches. Okay, so let's run down here. And I'm going to do a little digging, it looks like, but that's okay. So I have enough room here, so all I have to do is dig two blocks down. No big deal. And I've got a good pickaxe, so this will not be that big of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and dig this out, and when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll power this beacon up fully. Okay, got it all dug out. And if you look here, I've got the two tiers, of the first two tiers done. And I've had this for, for, for some time. And the first one is a 3x3, three three, so you need 9 blocks. And you can use gold blocks, iron blocks, emerald blocks, and diamond blocks. Unfortunately, you can't use lapis lazuli or redstone block. That would be just too easy. Or coal blocks. <laughs> but you have to use those, because I guess they're precious metals. Then the second tier is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 5. So now you have to have 25 blocks. Now the next one is going to be 7 by 7. So let's go ahead and place these first blocks here. And it's just going to be basically like this here. All the way around. And you just fill it in. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I might go ahead and stop right there and go ahead and do the next level because it's going to be difficult to kind of place blocks way back in there if I go much further than this. So the next level, you go 3, 5, 7, and then 9 by 9, which is going to be 81 blocks total. That's a lot. And so let's go ahead and get this one started here. That way I don't I have to dig anymore just to uh, place some of these iron blocks. And then let's get inside here, see if I can reach. I should be able to, yes. It's hard to see that. But it's in there. Okay, now we're getting caught up. Continue this. All right, and I'll come back down to this one. Whoop! Uh, I'll not do that one yet. Okay, there we go. Now, come down here. Get this row in here. And then I'll go ahead and finish this row off. And then now I just need to put five, six, seven. There it is. Beaconator. There's a three by three, five by five, seven by seven, nine by nine of either iron, gold, diamond, or emerald blocks. Oh, there you have it. There's there's those achievements done right there. I got two of them. I got the... Whoa, what just happened right there? That was weird. I got the hired help, and then I got the uh, Beaconator. Oh, I see. It's the jump effect. And when my elytra were opening. Okay. <laughs> I was getting very confused as to what was going on there. Oh, wait! I almost forgot. Now that I have the full tier beacon, or the full power beacon, I forgot to uh, activate its uh, secondary power. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, so right now I have the jump boost, which is which is helpful for my current situation. Uh, other these other two are probably not going to be, you know, incredibly helpful for me. But uh, jump boost two is probably not going to give me anything of significance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select regeneration. If anything, that's probably the only thing that's going to be really helpful here. So what you do is you select what you want and you put in one of these items into the beacon and then you say done and so now there you go if you saw in the upper right hand corner I now have the regeneration and the jump effect so that's pretty cool and that's how you do that so now let's uh, resume back to the uh, the regular outro for the video there you go two achievements done right there 
And that right there is going to wrap up this episode. I'm going to get started on getting prepared for the next achievements. I'm going to try to do the sniper shot and the zombie villager, curing the zombie villager. So, if you enjoyed watching this episode, please tap or click the like button to show that you enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. Also, share the videos with your friends and family. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. <laughs>